All right, this is One Last Midnight. Welcome back to another episode of Grounded. And so Grounded has just come out with their August content update, which is beyond exciting. You know, millions of people are playing Grounded. It is an absolute hit as a base building game, as a survival game. It's just a fantastic game all around. And to show us and give us a reward, they decided to give us this. So let's go over the patch notes because a lot of things have changed and uh, some pretty exciting changes. So some new features to the game is the bird. The bird is something new and you, it includes new crafting materials and recipes from bird feathers. Uh, there's a new perk system with 13 unique perks uh, to discover. There's new burgle quest types and there's also a chip sleuth which allows you to locate the burgle chips. They've added fence buildings. They've added tables, and they've also added a water flea ambient insect into the flooded biome area. But that's not it. There's been all kinds of changes and tuning uh, to combat and other things. And so the list goes on and on, and I don't wanna read all of them, but let's look at sections at a time and kind of get an understanding of what's happening. You know, mainly the combat changes, they're focused on, you know, giving pluses or taking away some of the damage that was already being given to existing weapons and making some of the existing weapons a little bit better. There are interface changes that some need to be aware of. The raw science UI is more consistent throughout the game. Shortcuts for dropping items. Added deposit or receive stack uh, buttons into the UI. Shift clicking now allows you to put items into the storage, which is great, or take them out. Is it just transferred as in general? Some additional art, some notification to your inventory when it's full, some revised scab uh, flavor schemes, you know, several more changes that aren't as significant as just maybe some of the other usability issues that were listed. There have been changes to the world itself. And so the flooded area has been revised. They revised the Clover Cave, updated the electric house socket. Items that were left in the world will eventually despawn in 4872 in-game hours. Players and creatures now create ripples when going through water. And there's, uh, they say kids have started throwing archer cookies over the fence. Or you're going to see starting to see cookies uh, in, on, in and around the ground, along with billy hogs and apples and also a giant footprint has been added to the yard there's been some changes to the buildings and one of the changes is kind of important to me is that you know they they have a more reliable anchoring when building on top of objects like the baseball which is great so i i'm going to see if i can actually finish my baseball house because i was having some difficulties with that water canteens can collect falling droplets Players can drink from the water canteens while holding weapons. Cameras slide to correct position when interacting with wall mounted items. You know, more and more. Re I highly encourage you reading the full list because there's no way that I could cover everything in this video. It would be an hour long. There's a lot of stuff that they covered. Performance, they worked on performance. And the first one right off the list is better windowed full screen performance and Windows versions of the game. Yay. <laughs> I mean, come on, we're PCs. You should have like, you know, full on performance. Better UI inventory, GPU performance, significant uh, load game time improvements for, large, for games with large bases and better overall GPU performance uh, during nighttime. And some other things that were added in there are, you know, hedge berries can float now, polished up spear movement and aim animations for first person. Ants now find and store lost ice caps. Soldier ants can now properly drop the ant head as loot and several more other changes. Now, this is just, like I said, this is the tip of the iceberg. The entire list is here and you can see just how long it is. There is a lot of stuff that they did to the game. So the link to the full patch notes are in the description below. And I can't wait until I get into my save game and continue on with my adventures in Grounded. 
I look, I highly recommend this game. If you haven't gotten it already, get it now before they double the price. They've sold over millions of copies of this thing. I, I'm sure that they're looking before they finish to up the price when they go to full release. There's probably a ton more content coming out. I did do some reading that they are working on getting a roadmap together so we can see what their future vision is. And so look forward to more grounded videos. We'll see you guys soon. I hope you liked the video. If you did, hit the like button. If you want to follow me on any of my full social media, you can find the links in the description below and make sure to hit that notification bell so you know when I go live and when I post new videos. And look, if you're not a subscriber, we have a great community of people here. Make sure you get on board. We'd love to have you. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.